Hi guys, welcome to my travel diary. My name is Tammy. Last month, me and my partner Widya traveled to Koran for my birthday, where we made so many unique and beautiful memories. In this video, I'll be showing you what we had seen explored in Koran Islands, the crown jewel of the Philippines. Today, we're going on a reef and wreck tour, where we'll be free diving in World War II shipwrecks and coral gardens. Here's our amazing tour guide Wen and our super nice boat crew from Kalimian Tours who will be taking us on this private diving excursion. Our first stop is East Tanger Rack, believed to be a Japanese submarine hunter that sunk in 1944 during the US air raid. The ship is about 35 meters long and was sitting in a slanted shape, starting with a bow at 4 meters down. It was quite an easy, shallow dive with a maximum depth of 18 meters. But the visibility wasn't the best during the time, so we didn't penetrate the wreck and headed back to the boat after just a few dives on the side. Our next stop is Luzon Gunboat, another World War II vessel that is not a popular dive site. You can already see the shallow end of the stern from above. As soon as we hit the water, we could see the entire outline of the wreck, and it was pretty spectacular. Once we got back on the boat, our crew surprised us with a table full of lovely local dishes. My favorite one was this eggplant salad. It had this perfect balance of savory and sour taste, which was very refreshing, especially as a side for all the grilled seafood. After lunch, Wayne took us to the adjacent Luzon Coral Garden, known for its rich coral and marine life. Immediately upon entering the water, we were immersed by millions of planktons floating around us. A good sign of a healthy reef system, but it does make my skin itch a bit. And near the drop off, there were some really majestic plating corals. Later, we pulled up at Pass Island a tiny and secluded paradise for a relaxing afternoon. We walked around the white sand beach and found this super picturesque spot under the palm tree. Pretty soon we realized we couldn't stand this blazing hot weather, so we decided to hop into the water again for a light snorkel. A few minutes in, a rainbow appeared behind us, which felt pretty magical. On our way back, the sunset painted the ocean into this beautiful golden color, as if today hadn't been perfect enough. The next morning, we woke up pretty early, so we took a little walk around and said hello to our new friends. For breakfast, we had buffet at our hotel, which was a combination of Filipino and Western cuisine. I am happy. 
As for today's itinerary, we're going to visit Koron's most iconic destinations, Kanyenga Lake, Twin Lagoon, and Barracuda Lake. And this is our tour guide for today, Ivan. We started by climbing hundreds of steps over the limestone cliff to the other side where Kayanga Lake lies. Kayanga Lake is a mixture of freshwater and saltwater lake. It is crystal clear and you can easily see the rock formations from above the emerald color water. It is just breathtaking and the scenery certainly does not disappoint. As we descend deeper into the lake, we can feel the intense thermoclines. The bottom layer is so warm and I was told that the temperature was as high as 39 Celsius. Kanyenga Lake is the ancestral home of the indigenous Taekbuanyuan people. It is such a sacred place to the locals, and I'm grateful that they are sharing it with the rest of the world. After some fun dives at Kanyenga Lake, we were ready to see some marine life and corals. For lunch, we stopped at Beach 91, where we enjoyed our food with a view of pristine water and powdery soft white sand. It was quiet and peaceful, they even had fresh coconuts. After lunch, we were feeling super recharged. We headed towards the next destination on our bucket list, Twin Lagoon. The two lagoons are separated by a narrow cliff where you can hop between the two using the wooden steps or swim beneath the cliff. Once we were inside, we were absolutely mesmerized by this heavenly place. We did a few dives, but most of the time we were just happy to float around and soak in the afternoon sun. After Twin Lagoon, we had one last place on our island hopping list, Barracuda Lake, a place I've been longing to visit ever since I started freediving. And today, the dream has finally come true. Despite the lake being very crowded and sour, I was super excited to jump in. And right away, I was just mind blown by the visibility, the view and the calmness of the water, an absolutely perfect condition that I don't think you can easily find anywhere else. After Barracuda and all the other wonderful adventures today, we were tired and fried, but our hearts were full. Feeling super grateful for this little adventure and the people who made it so joyful. After we went back, Ivan gave us a lift to Coron Town Center to book our ferries to El Nido, where we plan to visit for the next two days. We already had our hotels and tours booked beforehand, and all we had to do was to purchase the ferry tickets in person. But guess what? 
Not only the ticket office was closed, but no ferry or flight would be running until next Monday, when we'd already be heading back to Australia. This also means that all of our pre-booked hotels and tourist money had gone to waste as they are non-refundable. Luckily, we found alternatives in Koran, where we're going to dive with dugongs and sea turtles. Had my birthday celebrated at this beautiful resort and try out Island Boy Grill, a popular restaurant in the center of Koran town. Thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed it. See you in the next video.